Hi, I'm wearing white. I know, very jarring, very odd of me, but I might change my top because I don't know if I really love it. Anyways, hello. I am technically in the middle of a reading vlog, a readathon, reading time, but I need a break. Like, I feel like I am possibly falling into another book slump. I just got out of one and read some good books. But recently I feel like I haven't seen a book and been like, yeah, that's like the mood. That's what I want to read. Like, this is going to be good. I'm going to get into it. And I'm going to read the whole thing. I've been having more false starts. The last book that I read was The Spell Shop and I really enjoyed that. I really, really loved it. And I want something 
similar to that but i just i i don't know what that will be like i i just cannot find a book to read there are many books obviously on my tbr i want an audiobook because i am reading books physically but i don't have the time to physically read them i also just want to do other things while i read my favorite way to read as we know i'm a, an audiobook girly i just i don't know like obviously i have a lot of books on my audible that i should get to i also don't want something too long because that's the death of a mood uh, uh not a mood reader a book slump like that that's just not the way to go i feel like i really should get to fathom folk i was really looking forward to when that came out because the world seemed pretty cool but then once i actually started it it was not quite what i thought it would be so the city of stardust that as well kind of took a turn in mood that i didn't expect like i thought it'd be different but then like it's still fine like I, i'd still read that but it's, again it's just like a certain mood that i'm in <sighs> I feel like I want like a stupid book, you know, but I don't want to spend any of my audible credits on it. It's literally this this perpetual go around and even if I do find a book to read right now, I feel like I'll finish it and then I'll be right back where I started. I also am kind of thinking maybe I should reread something that I love because that's usually helpful um, during a book slump. And I'm not trying to force myself to read anything, but... I really want to read because I have, like I said, I have activities that I want to do. I haven't crocheted something in a really long time. I feel like the last thing I crocheted was hats, beanies for my aunt, which is very, really sad. Okay, don't cry. <laughs> it's just a hat, it's just crocheting. But I was recently watching Katie's readings vlogs because that usually really helps me when I, I am like, you know, it really motivates me to get to reading. But recently she was crocheting a granny square blanket and it looks so cool. Like the color palette looks so amazing. And I'm like, I need to crochet something again. I also have crochet product projects that I need to get to that I've had very on the back burner. So today I think we should go out. <laughs> go spend some money because that's what i love to do <laughs> please send help <laughs> i feel like what's also kind of been feeding into my reading slump a little bit is that i've just been busy with other things i don't know obviously like there are just times where you just have inexplicably have a reading slump and there's just no hope no help but i've been really busy recently with shop stuff shop updates shop like making stuff um my sister's baby shower planning a lot of that editing i've been editing a lot <laughs> sometimes i really like editing other times like it's like pulling teeth i feel like i've been using that phrase so much recently i need to find a new one just i need a break i need a reset day i need to get out of the house i just i also have been drawing a lot recently which i used to say that i really hated drawing but i've been drawing on my ipad a lot and i really enjoy it i'm definitely a digital drawing girly like i'm classically trained in acrylic painting so i have a background of like that kind of art but i always just never liked drawing like pen on paper but i do like ipad drawing and i've been doing a lot of that and now i've been drawing for my shop but i haven't really done any drawing just for pleasure it's all been for sticker sheets because i love making sticker sheets because i want to use them in my journal because i journal a lot and i want to make stickers that i want you know i will probably get started on a new sticker sheet sometime soon as well like probably this weekend but i also feel like maybe i should maybe it'd be a good idea to try and draw for pleasure and also maybe since i haven't drawn pen on paper in a very long time maybe i should try that out again because maybe i would like it now since i've found a new love for drawing or maybe i'm just in the end just a digital girly but i never just like sketch out drawing and also my ipad has a very limited amount of storage space so i feel like everything i create on my ipad <laughs> has to be very thoughtful there's just not space to like book around and do random shit so i'm thinking maybe i'll get a, a sketchbook and i do want to go and get a lemmy safari pen fountain pen I tested one out the other day and it was really gorgeous. Loved how it wrote, but I didn't buy it. And then I was looking it up online and they have a store in Soho. So let's go to Soho. Let's get a pen maybe. So I want a notebook for sketching and I don't know. I want a personal book for like sketching and things. Recently, I've had a lot of ideas for stories. Not that I ever want to write a book, but I want to write down these ideas. And I don't really have a space, a notebook, because you know, I have a lot of notebooks. I love 
I love the notebook, but I don't really have a space to just like a catch-all. I would call that kind of like catch-all book a commonplace book, but recently my everyday journal I started calling a commonplace book, but it's just like a, a diary, like a daily diary. My everyday journal labels so hard, it's so hard to label things. So I would like a book that's a little bit more like durable because the sketchbooks or notebooks that I have right now paper is a little bit too thin to do all the things that I want also because I want to get a new fountain pen possibly we'll see probably I will uh let's be honest with myself <laughs> I don't really have a notebook that can withstand that like the paper needs to be a little bit thicker so I want to find I want to find the perfect notebook that can act like a, as a sketchbook as like a catch-all just writing and stuff um because yeah I do write about like my feelings and like everyday life in my everyday journal but I kind of want to go more in depth and do some more writing even though I don't love writing I do want to get more into it it's just I feel all, all over the place recently <laughs> please since I'm going to Soho gonna go to the McNally Jackson there look for a notebook there because they have a lot of stationary stuff um and they usually have pretty good notebooks I feel like and since we'll be at a bookstore already let's look at books and maybe find something to read <sighs> And then probably go and get some yarn. I really got into my head that this evening I want to start crocheting something. Also, I'll probably go to Michael's for um, yarn. And they probably have their Halloween stuff out. <gasps> oh my god. It started. It has started. I have already bought things that um, from TJ Maxx. Whoa, my phone. That are Halloween related. I got a whole pack. This is just one of them. But it's time to to come alive again even though it's still july so yeah i'm gonna go change my top
sperm My review of this pen. I just feel like sample pens have some extra kind of crack to them. Like they're always so good, yes I'll buy it. And then you get the pen yourself and you're like, mm. <laughs> I like the clear body, but it just feel the edges just feel so sharp that I'm like, crap, I should have gotten a different one. Uh, I don't, do I have buyer's remorse? Perhaps. Maybe I should give it more of a chance, but I will say that the black ink is not good. Trash. It's very gray. It's not like crazy gray, but when I have a black pen, I need it to be black. I need it to be ink, squid ink vibes. Um, and this is not squid ink. I like this, whoa, this random pen, Pilot Neo Gel, gorgeous black. Um, I can see myself using this more than I'll use this already because I just was playing around with it yesterday. Um, it's been on the second tier of my uh, pen shelf here, which second tier means I don't use it as much and I kind of forgot that I had it. So I was using it and I really liked it. Um, <laughs> this is a pen that I use every day, all the time, everyday use. This is the Zebra Sar Sar Clip 0.5 Black. This is my favorite pen because it is black. Um, I really want wanted to use the, um, what's that called? The like Pilot, like friction, like the erasable pen, but that black is way too gray. So I'm very picky about my pen colors. Anyways, yeah, um, I am a little bit disappointed because I felt like this, I got the, got the impression that this feels would feel more like a, you know, just grab it and write kind of pen, but I guess not, <laughs> maybe, I don't know. This was like the first thing I wrote, I just did a little, and then I wrote chicken, and like, it made my handwriting look so bad. But yeah, anyways, I need chicken. <laughs> This, Book. I really wanted the black one, but I don't know that they make the A5 grid in black because I was trying to look it up online to see if I should do, could just order it, but I didn't look that hard, so maybe they do, but they didn't have it in the store in black and I would prefer it to be black. <laughs> so I'm thinking I might just put a cover on this, which is sad because I really like the gold details and it would just be perfect if it was black. Okay, <laughs> but the paper's really nice and really smooth and so that's why I wanted a new book so that I could have a smoother paper for the fountain pens because I found in the past my like rougher regular texture notebooks I cannot really use with fountain pens and the paper's thicker which I think I said previously that fountain pens, lots of ink, bleeding, so yeah, this is what I did. But it just, see, it doesn't look black enough to me. It could also be the paper, but like, I, even still, like it should be able to, you know? <laughs> also, how ugly that ribbon turned out. See, if this was on my iPad, I would've been like, double tap. <laughs> Spoilers. 
Oh no. Wait. No. I know what this is. And I already have it. No. No. It's this one. I said to myself the last time I got this, I got the one that I wanted the most, which was this one. And I said, I don't need to buy these anymore because I have all the ones that I want. And then I thought about it some more and I was like, I would really like wood carving. <sighs> and Paradise Lost, I would love to get that so I could give it to my friend Ashley because she loves clown circus related things. No. See, that's what happens when you become too greedy. But I love this one so, so, so much. just got sidetracked for the past few hours by my sister i we were planning baby shower things like it's grind time besties like there's so much to do so little time right Rocky? the entire time i was mostly working on some like digital assets for the baby shower stuff and i'm just out of the blue made a new logo for my sister it's like for the baby shower but then also probably for like a future business if that she might want to do sneak peek mm, some cute just you know and then also afterwards talking with my mom you know we've with the loss of die and everything we've been grieving a lot and very deeply very heavily like i feel like the people that grieve the most for die are my mom and me like it was always my mom and die all the time doing everything together you know like my like she was die was my mom's partner in crime like afterwards we you know we would run into people out and about and they'd be like it was always you you and die we always saw you two all the time like we even saw the security guard from my elementary school days he like die was always pulling up and doing things for me bringing me stuff at school picking me up and things and yeah so anyways now i'm finally 
continuing my crochet project I kept miscounting because I was talking to my sister and so I just put it down and then started working on the digital stuff I really do love digital drawing these days like I really enjoy it like I love that I can erase things I think that with this um, project that I'm giving myself of drawing it in a notebook with pen like I'll probably at some point draw with pencil as well but give it's giving me good practice of permanence versus I feel like I now <laughs> even though it was a very short drawing session I feel like I really appreciated going back to my iPad and being able to erase things just a little doot doot <laughs> I think it's just one actually I also got this iPad during COVID times and I got the cheapest one I mostly just use Procreate I don't even use Photoshop anymore especially now I'm not gonna go back to Photoshop or Adobe after this most recent debacle with AI Ugh. but yeah I really want a new iPad <laughs> because I have like no space in this iPad so anyways back to my crochet project um I decided I'm gonna do a cardigan and I got the Karen tea cakes and I got the like multicolored one which these just turn out like stripes this I'm gonna do for the arms and then the body I chose this yarn which I only got three balls like I know I'm gonna have to go back for more but just in my head I, I was like buying more than three balls of yarn just, it just I can't do it but I know I'll have to go back and I'll spend the same amount but um that I would have if I bought it today but I just couldn't mentally you know but yeah this is purple I think it's looking probably a little more gray on camera I think it's purple in this lighting I can't even tell but um it kind of matches one of the colors in this this striped whatever or it just it matches the tone i wanted something very like natural colors earth tones you know so i'm gonna continue working on this for now i still don't know what to read and right now and i'm like i just want to like put on something nice and cozy and just like really fall into a book but the book that i was re listening to for the most part for the day was shanghai immortal like i saw it a while ago and then kind of forgot about it and it just never comes up in the algorithms yeah i so far like the main character very not like the other girls and what is it about uh it's about like a half vampire half deity uh i don't know what she's been doing but now i think she's gonna be like tasked to do something or finds out something i don't know quite what's going on yet it's i'm only at the end of chapter three and i don't usually like starting books while i'm out and about because sometimes you know things happen externally and i yeah you know the listening goes to the background so i feel like i've missed a few probably crucial parts and i'm like do i restart it but like obviously i'm just really not in the mood to restart anything right now but i am in the mood to reread like the raven cycle but i know i shouldn't but then also like who's to say i shouldn't maybe i should reread crescent city that's always a good time i'm literally struggling i know i feel like i just asked this very recently but leave your book slump reading Rex fantasy only uh, i'm so indecisive right now <gasps> Hi. Hi.